It's easy to see it in other people. Sometimes they don't see it in themselves. How do you help a hoarder who's in denial? So we all know people who are in denial <laughs> about something or other, right? Most of us, right? My friend Marla D with me again here today at Live On Purpose TV. And Marla, you gave me an acronym for denial. Don't, Share that with Don't even know I am lying. Isn't that perfect? Don't even know I am lying. Denial. Beautiful. Yeah. I like it. Hey, that could apply to all kinds of things. Today we're <laughs> talking about hoarding again. We, we did another episode yeah. about um, how to help a hoarder clean their house. Yes. And if you haven't seen that one, go link to it right up there and you'll see yeah. uh, what we talked about there. Today, a little different because there's all kinds of things in life that we get into denial about mm -hmm. where we don't even know I am lying. <laughs> Wow, I've just got to sit with that for a minute. Yeah, because everyone has that, right? Maybe we're all in denial about something. Um, this hoarding thing. Now, we talked in the other video about how hoarding is a very complex, multifaceted kind of a thing. But we all know someone who is at least an amateur hoarder. Yes, yes. Um, I probably <laughs> am. We do, actually. And, and there's some common things that we all do as human beings that may tend toward that. But we all know people who are maybe in a more serious position with this, too. Right, where it's affecting their life in a big way. Right. And the people around them. And it seems like we all know this, but they are kind of the last one to figure it out. Right. Right. So, Marla, you've got some education for us today right. you know about I've, this. What I've found through my years as an organizer, as you know, I've done it 18 years, right? right? So that means I have seen a lot of pain mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of clutter and disorganization and a lot of denial. And it's so mm -hmm. common when I go in that, you know, one person in the partnership wants the organization and the other person doesn't. So I'm really right. familiar with this. How do I bring that person out of denial and into yeah. reality? So I have found that education is just a key piece. Education for the person who's wanting to help and also education for the person who's in denial. So we mentioned this on the other video, but I'm gonna bring up again, my favorite, favorite resource is the Institute for Challenging Disorganization, ICD. And they have a number of tools on their website that will really open the eyes, right? Bring in the light, yeah. the awareness of what is going on, because all change starts with awareness. So we need that understanding of what is hoarding and what isn't hoarding. And one of the great things that they have on their website that you can just download for free is their clutter hoarding scale. Oh, Isn't that beautiful. awesome? A yes. quick reference guide. We actually get different colors for each of the five levels. Did you know there were five levels? I, I didn't know that there were five. Yeah. I know that there's different intensities, obviously, yes, of this problem. truly, and we tend to glop them all together. Right. So it's going to help that person come out of denial, actually, a lot of times. I've seen this personally. If they can look at this and go, oh, wow, you know, I'm really just a level one. Mm -hmm. So there are some things that need to be done, but I'm not this big, bad, terrible person. Like well, I we've seen I the was. reality shows, and right? And they're scary. And, and you see these these depictions on, on television, for example, about hoarders who are completely trapped in this world. And maybe that's on the severe end. So that's you're saying the there's, there's five different levels. Yeah. And you can start by figuring out, okay, how serious is this? And if, there, if somebody's only at level one or level two and they reach out and get help, right? If you mm. help them come out of denial, by just giving them the awareness that, oh, look, this is where you're at, it's not that bad, then you could literally change the course of their life and yeah. it would never have to go down to level five. So that is possible. Uh, the family member, the close loved one, is usually not the best person to bring them out of denial, however. I want to oh, say wow. that. Oh, wow, yeah, that is true. One of yeah. the best things is that neutral third party. So whether that is a psychologist, mm -hmm. whether it's a professional organizer, 
you know, an outside professional, or, you know, it could be an unpaid person, but that's neutral in the situation that they feel safe to talk to because, you know, that hoarder is not going to feel safe talking to the person that is dealing with the pain of their problem. So right. it's really important to get that right person. And that's another thing you're going to find on the ICD website is where you can find professionals to help you. And that's a great place to begin. So we'll include a link in the description down below where you can get to the Challenging the disorganization .com. Challengingdisorganization.org. Yes, yes. Um, great resources. That I think you know what that's that's probably the most important place to start. It is with pretty it much is. anything that we're concerned about. Let's get some more education and knowledge about what this is, mm -hmm. how serious it is, mm -hmm. uh, and and then that will steer our steps in what we can do about in the that. right direction and. You know, I brought something else fun for us to do today. On oh, this one good. Too. So one of the other things you're going to find on the ICD website is just great PDFs, handouts on, on simple little things that you can do. And one of the things that they had that I brought for us today was a communication piece. Okay. So you know how important communication is in all relationships and especially right. when you're trying to create change, right? So they have this super fun little thing that says what you want to avoid, what does not work, and okay. practice what does work. I love this. Do We're going to do more do of wanna, what works. Let's do you want to share doesn't. what doesn't work, Dr. Oh, Paul? I would love... This okay. is... Okay. This is right from them. <laughs> okay, Marla. Don't say just do it. Just clean it up. Come on. It's not going to work. You can try that. It's not going to work. We already know it doesn't work, yeah. so take it from the pro. You probably already tried that. Avoid being a nagger. Mm, nobody likes a nagger. You know what, Marla? There's a euphemism for nagging. Really? Yeah, reminding. Oh, okay. We call it reminding, but but it's nagging. It feels like yes, nagging to them. Don't act like a watchdog. Ever, you know, checking it out. Come over, got to look and see. What's you should the not be the clutter cop. No, no. Unless you really want to, but it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Resist criticizing. Please. You know what? There's a natural response to criticism. Grip up. It's defensiveness. Protect. It's protectiveness, right? Yeah. Never ridicule. Don't make fun of them. This is real. That is so important, Marla, because from the outside, it's easy to yeah. to, to look at this and see, think, oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, Come just on. just clean it up. Just you know get what? rid of the stuff. An example from our family. I remember my son had left some things cluttering up the living room, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And my sweet wife, Vicki, went in and she'd had enough. Yeah. And so she said, Adam, get in here and clean, clean up all up. of this junk. And he... Ooh, junk. She used the that's junk the word. part that he, he... The junk word. Mom, it's not junk. <laughs> it's stuff. <laughs> Which maybe was totally the whole, the same thing to Vicky. It's a really a big deal, actually. It's not junk. It's not... This has symbolic meaning, and it carries stories, and there's all kinds of psychological attachments to yeah. the junk stuff. or stuff that it looks like to you. Don't exaggerate the consequences. If you don't clean this up, then you know what's gonna happen next year. When you die, I'm gonna have to come in here and that's really not gonna help. Or it's going to destroy your life in some other yeah. way or whatever. Yeah. Also eliminate phrases like, I told you so. I told you so. Told you this was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We don't even need to explain no. that one. You get the privilege of telling us what does what work. What does work. And Beautiful. you know what this reminded me of when we got to play on your, your podcast, mm -hmm. your Life on Purpose podcast. We talked about that only 10% of the human population on the planet Earth is born with the organizing gene. Okay? 10%. 10%. So if most people can't even get organized, you can't say just do it. Don't mm. be a nagger, watchdog, criticize, or ridicule them. There's all those people out there that can't even get organized. So hoarding and chronic disorganization is this to the nth degree, right? So they definitely need support. So what does work is 
Listen yes. from an accepting point of view. So mm. in my ebook, The Art of Letting yeah. Go, Acceptance, Release, and Trust, that's why we start out with acceptance. So let's not pretend yeah. that it's any different than it is. It's like your first yeah. thing. It is it what, is what it, it is, is, right? So it could always be better. It could always be worse. It is what it is. So we start with acceptance. Listen without judgment. And Beautiful. they're going to know the difference. So give your full attention to that person when, you're, when they're speaking. So if they're trying to share with you and your brain is busy with how you're going to fix them, that's not going to work. They'll pick up on it. Mm -hmm. They really will. For sure. Which fits in with think highly of the person and it will come through in your manner and in your tone. This is a human being who has a serious problem. Ah. It's no different than if they had a heart condition, okay, and they needed to go get professional help. So that human being, you love them, you think highly of them, you respect them for who they are. And Marla, thank you for mentioning that one because this is not acting. No. You don't act Genuine. like you respect them. Yeah. You respect them. Yeah. Get into that space. Yep. Beautiful. And, and what helps that is to focus on their good qualities. So yes, maybe they have a hoarding problem, but they've got all kinds of good qualities as a human being, you know? So focus on those. And they probably don't have that vice that you have. Yeah, exactly. Just because everybody has one, right? I know. It's just that hoarding shows. Right, it's obvious. And so yeah. some and it's tempting, isn't it, Marla, to, to judge it. Point toward that thing that we can see yeah. and then ignore the thing that's going on in our own life. Right. Yeah. Everybody's because the got stuff weaknesses. Is not the problem. And everybody's got strengths. So you're saying focus on their the good, good points, qualities. the strengths, the qualities that you want to yep. emphasize. And then nice. keep drawing out the best in that person. You know, so th these are things that I practice as a professional organizer, right? Mm -hmm. My clients don't know how to organize. So I'm, I'm drawing out what that does work, what they are doing, and constantly putting attention there. And then right. lastly, this one is so important, recognize and really acknowledge those baby steps. Mm. Every step matters. And I say in yeah. the art of letting go, if you release even three to five percent, hey, you just opened up space You're in a for better something space. new. You know, so right. recognize that. Oh my gosh, yes, they did clear that counter. This is good. <sighs> well done. Thank you. Thank so you're you. going to find that in all kinds of really excellent educational resources on their website. And then I would love, love to have you just download for free the art of letting go. Uh, it's a little ebook that I wrote after losing my two parents, and that will help you and this person come out of denial, pick up small project, step you through how to get it done, and then it actually ends with all of my favorite resources for chronic disorganization and yeah. simplifying. And it's powerful, yes. folks. The, an amazing resource. We'll keep those in the description down below so that you can access those and easily share them. Mm -hmm. Do more of what works, less of what doesn't. Yeah. There nice. You go. Thank you. Marla D. bringing it today at Live On Purpose TV. Her clear and simple solutions are something that you may want to share with other people as well.